Well, hello there. You're watching the official Theme Park Fans YouTube channel, and welcome back to another video. So, as you can see by the video title, I'm going to be telling you, you guys, three reasons why I am really excited for the 2021 season to begin. Now, before I start today's video, I just want to say um, a massive thank you for the support on the last video. Um, where I spoke to you guys about what it's like to work at all the towers. Um, we achieved um, almost 140 views. So I want to say a big thank you for um, supporting that video. And also um, um, giving the video um, a lot of likes as well. And we had 14 likes on that video. Even if you haven't checked it out yet. Then what I will do is I will leave like um, a link for it in the top right hand corner any moment now. So if you haven't seen it yet they go and check it out and be sure to give it a like and comment below on that video if you do have any questions about what it is like to work on Autodesk. But anyway, on to the main topic of this video, three reasons why I am excited for the 2021 season. And without further ado, let's get into it straight away. So the first reason why I am really excited for the 2021 season is Gangster Granny the Ride. So you're probably going to be sat there and um, you're saying again, oh, well, you're only saying this because you work at Auto Towers. That is correct. But I am really excited to try out Gangster Granny Divide. Now, um, Gangster Granny Divide, it was due to open last year. However, because of the um, coronavirus pandemic and with Auto Towers um, not being able to open for March, um, Auto Towers decided to postpone the opening of Gangster Granny Divide to um, this year. And it was a very understandable move because... Um, I do feel like had Alton Towers open Gangster Granny Divide last year when they reopened in July, I felt like I'd I'd feel like many people would rush over to Gangster Granny Divide and um, you know social distancing wouldn't be possible. So I feel like it was a very respectable move from Alton Towers, and also it would feel a bit awkward opening Gangster Granny Divide. In July when really it should have opened in March so it was a very respectable uh, decision from all the towers themselves but no I'm really excited to try out Gangster Granny Divide um, and as I said before I'm really I'm really intrigued to see how they've utilized the space in what used to be um, Wobble World and more recently the House of Monsters so that's gonna be really interesting um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the theming and the ride um, I'm really looking forward to seeing seeing the merchandise for it. I'm sure like there'll be lots of merch for Gangster Granny Divide and also um probably maybe some merch for um the other uh, David Walliams books. Um like David Walliams, he has written a load of books, so maybe we'll get a, um some merch for the other books as well. Who knows? But I think it it will mostly be um Gangster Granny Divide merch. So I'm really looking forward to um, riding Gangster Granny Divide. Hopefully, um, I'll be at all the towers for the opening day of the season. <laughs> so if I am, I'll, I'll definitely be vlogging the opening day as I have done, um, well, with the exception of last year, um, as I have done for pretty much um, most years. So I'm really excited to get back to all the towers and try out um, Gangster Granny Divide this year. So the next reason... Um, why I'm really looking forward to this season is the season should hopefully be starting in late March, early April. Now, of course, um, restrictions should be easing really soon. I think um, very soon we are going to be coming out of the third national lockdown and uh, restrictions should hopefully be easing. Now, at this moment in time, we don't know what this means for theme parks. So, Alton Towers, Fort Park, Chessington, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Straighton Manor. We don't know what this means, and um, I think when restrictions do ease, we could be seeing theme parks um, reopening in late March, or at the worst case scenario, in my opinion, early April. I think that's how long we have got to wait. So, for example, um, I've got to use Alton Towers as opening date because, you know, it's my local park and I work there. So, Alton Towers is due to open on Saturday the 20th of March. Now... If restrictions ease, but they don't ease for theme parks, then I do feel like the worst case scenario is all the towers will have to reopen early April or maybe mid-April. But as I said before, we don't know 
what this means for theme parks right now. Um, of course, we've got the um, COVID vaccine being rolled out, and I think, I think at the time of recording, over 15 million people have had it, which is really incredible. So, fingers crossed, theme parks can open from late March. So, for example, it would be really brilliant to Walter Towers can reopen from Saturday the 20th of March. However, the worst case scenario, Walter Towers may have to delay their opening for another two or three weeks and have to open in early April, mid-April. That is uh, probably the worst case scenario. Um, but I do think, I think Easter this year is around early April, I think. Not too sure. But yeah, um, it would be, it'd be really good if Walton Towers can reopen in time for the Easter holidays. And um, because, you know, the Easter holidays, um, they're... Um, they're a really good time for all the towers and all the other theme parks to be busy, so that'd be really good. So, yeah. So, the second reason, season hopefully starts in late, Mar late March, early April. Now, the third, and final, the, the third and final reason why I am looking forward to the 2021 season is that it will be a much better season than um, the 2020 season. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, the 2020 season was a really brilliant one for me. Um, I made lots of Happy memories at Alter Towers, you know, um, going back to when, I don't think you can count it as a 2020 season, but going back to when Alter Towers reopened their grounds and they reopened their gardens and it was just really nice to walk around the park, get back there. But I'm talking about when, um, when they officially reopened from July and, you know, um, when I went, I went on the second day the park reopened and let me tell you, it was just really magical. It was absolutely magical. Um... What else? Um, there was Oktoberfest, um, there was Scarefest, of course. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the fireworks last year, but um, that was really understandable um, because of the um, current situation. Um, but also, um, stepping aside from the 2020 season, and I'm talking about my working life at all the towers, you know, um, I had some brilliant team gatherings. So the first team gathering that I had um, last season was at um, Flambeau's Jambo and that was back in August last year and it, and, and it was my first team gathering and let me tell you guys I was really nervous about it but um, once I got there and once I sat down with the boys so Matt, Lou, James and um, we were sat at one, end, at one end of the table and you know I just felt comfortable from that moment and like me, Lou, Matt, James we were Talking about theme parks <laughs> all night, which was really good. Um, and then the second team gathering was for the Scarefest preview night, which, you know, as I've said to my team before, that was probably the best night I've ever had at Towers. It was such a brilliant night. And if I had a time machine, I'd go back and relive that night again. Um, and also, um, I got to do my first staff preview, which was the, full enough, I'm wearing the t-shirt for it, the Autotel's Oktoberfest event. Um, preview and um, even though for that night I was mostly with my dad um, I did get to spend a bit of work with Lou, Matt and James which was really lovely and um, I guess those moments really made um, the 2020 season a really good one but I just feel like you know last season it wasn't it, it, it wasn't spectacular it wasn't awful it was great it was great and um, the reason why I say it was great and not spectacular it was because, you know, I wasn't able to um, go to any theme parks in Europe. So uh, I couldn't go to Fantasyland. I couldn't go to Europa Park. Um, I couldn't go to Port of Mature, obviously, because of the um, COVID restrictions. And um, I also didn't get the chance to go down south to go back to Fort Park, nor did I have the chance to go up north to um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which, again, was a bit of a shame. So last season, I only stuck to all the towers and also the other reason why last season wasn't spectacular was because of how short the season was you know it was only from july to november and it kind of felt really quick so hopefully this season it's going to be a really good one and i do feel like this season it's going to be a season where we look back in years to come you know say 10 20 30 years from now we'll look back at the 2021 season we'll smile at it and think we made lots of great memories in the 2021 season. So there we go, guys. Those are my three reasons why I am looking forward to the 2021 season. 
What are your three reasons? Do comment below and let me know your three reasons of why you are excited for the 2021 season. So that's it guys, that is it for another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy the video, then please give it a like because it really helps the channel out as always. If you would like to become part of the Theme Park Fans family, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. I was gonna say thank you for 100 and, wait no. I was gonna say thank you for 1,150 subscribers. No, 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 let me say that again. <laughs> I was gonna say, Thank you for 1,150 subscribers. However, we have dropped below 1,150 subscribers. So if we, if we can get back to 1,150 subscribers, that would be brilliant. I only need one subscriber, so please do hit that subscribe button. And um, once we do reach 1,150 subscribers, we'll be on the road to 1,200 subscribers. So, you know, in fact, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and help this channel get even bigger. That would be the dream for me. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link is in the description below, so please go check that out. Give it a like. Um, for the next video, I am going to try and get it out for this Sunday coming up, or if not, this Monday, because I have a really fantastic idea. Um, I'm not going to say anything, but it's a really, really great idea, so um, do keep your eyes out for the next video. I'm Wood on you. Thank you for watching Theme Park Fans. And it's time to close the video down. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.